the entrance antiphon for Labor Day. May your favor, O oh Lord, be upon us, and may you give success to the work of our hands. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through, human, who through human labor never ceased to perfect and govern the vast work of creation, listen to the supplications of your people and grant that all men and women may find work that befits their dignity, joins them more closely to one another, and enables them to serve their neighbor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is widely reported that there is immorality among you, and immorality of a kind not even found, not found even among pagans, a man living with his father's wife. And you are inflated with pride. Should you not rather have been sorrowful? The one who did this deed should be expelled from your midst. I, for my part, although absent in body but present in spirit, have already, as if present, pronounced judgment on the one who has committed this deed in the name of our Lord Jesus. When you have gathered together, and I am with you in spirit, with the power of the Lord Jesus, you are to deliver this man to Satan for the destruction of his flesh so that his spirit may be saved on the day of the Lord. Your boasting is not appropriate. Do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast, so that you may become a fresh batch of dough, inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed, Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Lead me in your justice, Lord. 
For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloody, the bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. But let all who take refuge in you be glad and exalt forever. Protect them that you may be the joy of those who love your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. On a certain Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely to see if he would cure on the Sabbath so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he realized their intentions and said to the man with the withered hand, come up and stand before us. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil? to save life rather than to destroy it. Looking around in, at them all, he then said to him, stretch out your hand. He did so and his hand was restored, but they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord, when he is confronted by the scribes and the Pharisees, always draws them to a deeper view of reality than what they see. He asks them, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than evil, to save life rather than destroy it? God is good and everything he does is good and he gives us his grace and invites us to join all that we do our labor our work our words our actions to do good to proclaim him to others by what we say as well as by what we do we celebrate labor day a secular holiday and yet we reflect on God creating everything that is. And his creation doesn't stop when everything is created. He continues to be present in each of us. He continues to love us. He, if he didn't love us, we would not be alive. And he invites us to uh, do what we are able with our free will to choose with him to let his work uh, go through us, to announce his gospel to the world, to uh, continue to uh, discover things that he has created and to use what he has created uh, out of nothing to uh, work together for what is good. 
May we ask the Lord for his grace that we might continue not to look to ourselves, to what divides, but rather to what unites and allow the Lord to unite us closer to him and closer to each other to continue to proclaim him to all those that we meet. And that the Pope, bishops, and all church leaders will continually seek God's wisdom and guidance, we pray to the Lord. And that world leaders will model the mercy of God in their treatment of their people, we pray to the Lord. For all who work that they may see their labor as a way of becoming like God, the creator of all things, we pray to the Lord. And that we who are, in, are called to instruct and admonish one another may never fail to dissuade those who are tempted to abort their children, we pray to the Lord. For all who have been made ill by the coronavirus, for all who care for them, and for the governments and people of the world, that we may experience the healing mercy of the Lord, we pray to the Lord. That the memory of terrorist attacks will renew in us the resolve to work for peace in our world, our communities, our families, and our hearts. We pray to the Lord. For favorable weather and moisture, we pray to the Lord. For the intention of this Mass, for Bishop Emeritus Fabian Bruskowitz, and for our own intentions, united with Mary, the Mother of God, and all the saints, we add in silence. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear and grant these prayers, which we ask in union with the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
O God, who in the offerings presented here nourish the human race with food and renew it with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you, praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. the communion antiphone. Whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers of this table of unity and charity, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that through the work you have given us to do, we may sustain our life on earth and trustingly build up your kingdom through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me. That with your saints, I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, for the ruin of souls. Amen.